Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. I'm sorry that the microphone is like a different quality right now because I forgot to record the intro. So right now I'm recording on my PC. I wanted to say thank you everyone for the really great feedback on my first video and it re I really appreciated it. Today I am going to make a pick-up pile on what's coming next for you in terms of love. This reading is only for singles, so if you would like to have one for relationships as well, please let me know in the comments down below. Now I would like you to focus on the three piles on the screen and take three deep breaths. Take the one that calls to you the most and skip to the timestamp of it. I'll see you later in the reading. Welcome to your pile, everyone who chose pile 1. You have chosen this reindeer keychain, which I hope that you can see. Um, and I really need to tell you that right off the bat I see that right now is not the right time for you to be in a relationship or searching for a relationship. You are going through a lot of past trauma that is connected to love and connected to you being in a relationship. This can be that your ex-boyfriends or girlfriends or like ex-partners have been treating you really miserably and haven't been treating you really good. You can also go through a lot of heartbreak which you are still clinging on to even though it's been like more years or like months. This past trauma is really holding you back and you are also like fighting with it a lot in your like in your mind and with your emotions. You're right now not ready to make new beginnings in love and in a relationship because you really need to take care of yourself. So the best thing to do for you right now is to put yourself first and to care for yourself first instead of caring for other people. What you also need to do is start believing in yourself, which you can see here in the scroll spirit. You really need to believe in yourself and you need to tell yourself that you are strong and that you can do it. But something you also need to do is forgive yourself for for the past because even though if you might not see it you might hold yourself accountable for the things that happened in your past with your past relationships right now the best thing to do for you is really to start caring for yourself and making self-care for this you really need to do something that makes you happy and what you love to do this could be connecting with friends and family, if possible, or just reading a book or watching a TV series that you like on Netflix. Right now you just really need to like get through the past feelings and your past fears that you're still holding on to yourself in order to start new relationships. Because these past things are like really holding you back right now in getting into new relationships depending on if it's just a love relationship, a romantic relationship, a platonic relationship they're just really holding you back right now and this is your reading pile one I really hope that you enjoyed it it's again short and concise but I really hope that you liked it if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. I would really appreciate it if you could also check out my social channels. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Hello and welcome to your reading pile 2. You have chosen this keychain. <laughs> I really hope that you can see it. <coughs> But without further ado, let's go into the reading. So right now things are moving really quickly for you in terms of love. 
there is going to be a new beginning in in a relationship and you will probably start to see someone really soon but i can see you really not establishing good boundaries at the start which will really break the relationship pretty fast your person that you're going to be with will start to be really obsessed with you and this is going to be something that you won't really like and appreciate which will also start to annoy you because you can't do anything without them knowing what you're going to do. For you to take control in that, it is really important for you to establish your boundaries right off the bat and also collaborate with them. It is going to be really important for you both to take care of each other and be really happy about the other person. Like that, this relationship will thrive and continue on for longer than expected. So thank you so much for being here, Paul, too. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed it. It was, again, a really short and concise reading, but I really hope that you enjoyed it either ways. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know down below in the comments. And... If you can, please check out my socials in the description. So thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Welcome to your reading pile 3. You have chosen the keychain with the pink hair, <laughs> with the girl with the pink hair. In this reading I can see that you are going to start a relationship really soon. Um, but it's going to be with someone you already know and who is already in your life. This relationship will be really harmonious and balanced as you both will give as much as you are taking. This means that it's not going to, like, no one is going to be overpowering the other person and no one will feel left out. Nonetheless, this relationship is going to take a lot of time and patience for you both to build a foundation that you can stand on for this connection and then you can continuously build upon. What Spirit also wants you to know is that even though you're going to be in a relationship that has nothing to do with you not taking care of yourself. Self-care is really important and you shouldn't really stop doing it just because you're in a relationship. Something that is going to be really important for you and this relationship is to be always truthful. Always say the truth when your partner asks you what is going on and if you need some help. This will really start laying a solid foundation for you both that you can both stand on. That's everything, Pal3. Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for listening. <laughs> um, this reading was really short and concise, but I still hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you would like to, please feel free to check out my socials in the description. I will see you next time. Bye!